I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start taking the the AC stuff off. I um the reason why we're doing this is the AC pump is making a whole bunch of noise. The AC doesn't work if you do not have the rear AC on. So if we turn the rear AC off, it it blows warm air. So I don't know what the deal is with that. I so I think it's the expansion valve that is right back there. I'm not a mechanic. I just read stuff online, so I didn't have any training, I didn't take any tests or anything like that. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You can put comments in the in below. But I have new expansion valve for here. If we turn the rear AC on, it works. So I'm thinking that rear AC expansion valve is okay. I'm gonna change that one also. Because I the only way that this is the AC is a sealed system. Only way that that stuff can get clogged is if something's breaking down. The only thing that can break down is that compressor. There's rubber seals and stuff like that that I don't really think can get any of the, any of the particles get in there. So if, if something happens, the, the AC compressor is basically just a piston, an air pump, and the piston's going up and down. If that starts wearing out, the bearings go bad, or something inside there, it will put junk into the line. There's a filter somewhere in here. I, haven't, I don't know. I bought a new filter. I don't know where it goes. I'm sure I'll figure it out once I start taking stuff off. Um, the filter's supposed to grab all that stuff. If that filter gets clogged or stuff gets passed, maybe it could, maybe some chunks get passed, goes into the expansion valve and gets crud in there, expansion valve's not going to work. Stay open. You know, try the, it, the expansion valve tries to close and it can't because there's some gunk in there. It's not going to turn into a gas and make the cold air in the condenser. Hopefully, nothing getting in the condenser because I do not want to replace the condenser. To replace the condenser, you have to tear out the whole bottom of the dash. I don't feel like doing that. So, I'm going to take out this expansion valve, the one in the back of the expansion valve, new condenser, new compressor, any. I'm putting a new. Uh, High pressure switch because I got one of those. I figure while the system's open. And what is the other thing? There's some filters and stuff like that that I came with a came with a kit. And I'm gonna change all of the all of the O-rings that I come in contact with. So, all right, let me open this up and you know I'm gonna evacuate it. I have I have, I have the evacuator. I'll, I'll 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 do that if there's anything in it. I don't even know how much is in there it could be low who knows and start tearing it apart all right turn it back now system's open i got this hose off this goes to compressor i probably actually probably need to take that one off it goes to the compressor anyway because i'm going to be taking the hose is off the compressor. Let me just put that back. I just put the nut back on there so that it doesn't move around. I need this to be up. Okay. Uh, that one goes to the compressor. I got the uh, condenser. All it is is there's two lines on there, and now it's loose. And hopefully I can just... I disconnected the grill from here and here. Those are 10 millimeter. Pretty much everything's 10 millimeter bolts. And this should... Oh, also there's brackets that go here. I took those off. 10 millimeter here and the bracket and there's little rubber stoppers or isolators that go on there um i'm missing one one fell down somewhere i have to dig in there and find it but let's pull this out okay it should just pull right out okay that size is loose this side's not so one side gets loose on one side this side's stuck on something all right well it's gonna pull right out. I took the um, hood latch off. There's three uh, 10 millimeters there. I just got I need two hands. We this around and take it out, and I'll get the new one and drop it in there. All right. So the reason why I'm replacing the condenser is there's nothing wrong with the old one. I mean, it might be a little dirty, but it has the dryer built onto it. So you can't just replace this piece. So that's why I got a new one. Um, it looks just the same. OK, 
connector there, spot for to hold the, the hose, and then a connector there. I mean, obviously this one's black. Doesn't matter. Actually, I like the black better. Well, you won't really see it. And I just have to transfer over all of these. And I did find this one. It was underneath. And then on the bottom, there's two rubber isolators on the bottom. I gotta put them on the bottom of here. And that's it. I just noticed something. This looks like it can come off. I wonder what's in there. All right, I just noticed on the bottom of here, this is the bottom of the old um, can evaporator. It has this uh, thing that can be unscrewed. Same with the new one, it has a thing that can be unscrewed. I'm wondering if, I bet you I can take this apart. The filters, I have a filter, it looks like it's about, that would fit in here. Try, I don't have, it looks like it's a huge Allen. I don't have whatever size the Allen key that is. Uh, I do have this thing, which is you put this on any socket, 3 8 drive socket, and then you can put, I don't know what size on here, and you can just spin it. So, so it gives you the socket somewhere where you can turn it. So this fits in here perfect. And then, weird enough, it's 3 8 drive, right? But I get the 10 millimeter wrench, and then it should, well, if, it, if this thing doesn't move, um, loosen this up and let's see what's inside it. Okay. Wow, it's got a bunch of O-rings. Oh, wow. So there's a filter here. And it's kind of dirty. I don't know what's in there. Let's, let's uh... Oh yeah, there's something something in there. Let's do this. Let's do this. Nothing. Nothing came out. All right. There's something in there. It looks like that filter. So let me see. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so it feels like. A filter with silica in it and look at all this, this junk on the bottom so something's going on with the AC I'm glad I'm, I'm taking it apart I don't know if there's anything else in there it's probably it I don't know if you can be able to see yeah it's clean inside there now So there's nothing in there, but this thing is dirty. And this is a little filter. Let's look at what parts I have. Ah, uh, yep, that's exactly what this is. I, I could have saved some money. This thing's in it's, yep, that's exactly what this is. It's that same, same thing. But it's in a, a vacuum sealed bag. Um, foil bag and then here's the cover the new cover it doesn't have that other o-ring on it though it's a little bit different so I'm not going to use this because this one already has brand new stuff in it yes yeah, it doesn't have the one o-ring it's kind of weird but that's what that is but yeah, so this this makes me glad that I'm I'm doing this. There's, there's no, you know, how can this thing get dirty? This it's a sealed system, right? So there, there is something going on. Probably the compressor is bad. So I'm just gonna put this back together, not all the way. So I guess if you want to save money, keep your condenser. I, you know, I would blow it out. I would take this out, clean it. Um, then you just put this guy in there probably even use the same just replace the filter and I would just use the same one and just change the o-rings clean out whatever that little filter is in there because this, this has a filter on it too but I don't know how much the new condenser was but now I don't have to blow it out I'm just gonna put it in I'm gonna blow all the lines out make sure all debris out there I'm gonna just put some uh 
spray like carburetor cleaner or um, they actually make some AC stuff that you could spray in there. But I'm gonna spray some stuff in there cleaner. I, I think I have some I might have some AC cleaner stuff. Spray it in there, blow air in it, let let it get all the gunk out of it. Um, this is after you know when, when you open all the, the, the different hoses, the, the different uh, the different lines. And then hook everything back up. Last thing you do is hook everything back up, put the no rings. I'm gonna show you all this. And um, oil and charge it up. Now I have to dig in there and get that AC compressor out of there. Uh, maybe actually I'm gonna get the, uh, let's get the expansion valve out first while it's on the ground. Expansion valve is back there. So I just gotta take all that stuff apart and pull that this way. All right, so I need to get something unscrew this unbolt it from the firewall take this connector off I'm gonna pull that out change that what else do I gotta do looks like there's a connector down here down here I gotta take this off unscrew that probably unscrew this guy this one is the high pressure that goes I think that goes down to the AC down there so let's uh, rip that apart I'm going to show you how to remove the expansion valve, the front expansion valve, on a 2014 Honda Odyssey. So there's a couple things. So inside here, your expansion valve is all the way in there. There's an 11 millimeter bolt. You take that out right from that center. I already did that. Then you got a bunch of lines. There's a line here. Uh, what thick size is it? Three quarter. And what I did was I held onto the, this is like a junction block there, seven eighths. Took the two lines off. This one, this one is loose. It's not coming out for some reason. It will eventually. Then you have this other one over here. This, I had to get an adjustable wrench because I don't have the size. I don't know what tech size it is. Um, the other one, this is a 15 sixteenths. It looks like this somehow this one stays still and this spins the nut okay whatever uh that i couldn't get out either that's still that's stuck in there pretty good oh now the whole thing's coming out so maybe once i get this whole thing out i can separate all these i just gotta uh separate them and this whole piece let's see here this will come off oh i guess i have to separate it over here to get to get this bar out I want to take this whole bar out so I can get the, into the expansion valve. Luckily, this nut here is a 10. And it was just stuck on here. This, oh, this goes to, oh, you know what? This one goes to the condenser. That's why it's all loose. I have the condenser out. All right, so I'm going to take this off. So this, so this will be all loose. See, it's coming out. I just need to get those stupid fittings off. Once I get to that point, and once I get to the expansion, I'll come back. Okay, I took all these off. Now I'm trying to get the get to the uh, expansion valve that's behind there in the firewall. Okay, so I got this whole deal out. I had a once I took this off, I was able to wiggle this whole thing. All the connectors, ugh, all the this goop coming out. Oh, there was a die in there. I didn't realize that. Um, I still have to take this off. So I was able to wiggle this and it came off. Let's put that over there. So now I need to get I need to get to that the expansion valve that's in there. So there's some kind of clip right here. Let's see if this comes off. This clip needs to come off. Okay. All right, I gotta figure out how to do that, and then I have to see how, maybe I just pull a little expansion valve. No, I can't. I wanna put the screw back in there, and give me something to, to, uh, to pull on. Let's see. Oh, I already wrecked the threads. <laughs> ah. So, for me, uh, trying to Okay, well, I got the clip out. I pretty much destroyed it. Um, there's like a piece missing right here. 
I pried it with a screwdriver in there and then pulled it with some pliers. Stupid me, I forgot there's a, um, there's Allen keys inside here in these holes right here that you have to take out. It's a number four. So I think if I would have taken that out, maybe the whole thing would have popped out. I don't know. But I'm going to see if... I'm going to see if I can get another one of those clips. I don't know how important that is. They put it in there for a reason, right? So, oh, I don't know. So anyway, I'm, I'm taking out these um, Allens and then the expansion valves come right out. Or the Allen bolts. Trying to get the Allen. Oh, don't. All right. All right, good. I think it hit the ground. Let's see if it comes out. It's very loose. Now, this just goes right into here, so into the block. So, this O ring, this goes into some pipes or something on the other side. There's some O-rings there, so I gotta pull on it. And I don't wanna pull on the threads, because I don't wanna mess the threads up. Ouch! And I cut myself again. I keep cutting myself on stuff over here. All right, I'm gonna figure out how to get this thing out. Maybe if I take this out. And go like this, maybe. There we go. All right, now what? I don't know. I saw one guy do it online, and he uh, took the whole bottom of the dash out to get this thing out. So I, I don't want to do that. And I saw another one, they were able to pull it out here. So this is the way I'm going to try to do it. If you look online, or all data or whatever they say take the whole bottom of the dash part i am not doing that it's almost there all right let me mess with this and see what we can get it out okay i got this darn thing out if you can see in there it's the two two uh two pipes that goes to the evaporator there's two o-rings on there. I'm going to try to take those two o-rings off and replace them. I'm a little concerned that they're all black. I don't know why they're black o-rings instead of uh, green. But whatever. Um, the way I got this out was, obviously, I took out these two Allen bolts. It was mounted in like this. I pried it this way and got this out. And once this came out, and I had to pull it out first to get it out of those hoses on the other side. But um, as soon as I did that, I was able to pry it this way, clear the firewall, and then pull it out. Um, it doesn't look that bad. I don't see, I was expecting to see some like black goop in here. I don't see anything. So, I don't know. Anyway, I have a new one. I'm gonna replace it, but that's how you get it out. Like that, pull it out. All right, that's how you do the uh, expansion valve on a Honda Odyssey without yanking out the hole underneath the dash. Um, you might get some wounds. It's part of the job, I guess. It's these things that got me. So if I put gloves on, maybe the, uh, you know I would have avoided that. All right, so I'm gonna replace this here. I'm gonna get a big socket and take the socket and just un unscrew it with the socket. I'm going to probably put this in the vise. Let's go over there. Can't use the socket because it's hitting. Alright, we'll go to the other plane. I'll get the wrenches. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this is. Three quarter? No. Let's go right to 15, 16. That seems like it's that's it. Alright, let's see. Okay. Anyway, I need two hands. This is going to be boring. I'm just going to take this off and put the new one on. All right, well, I got all these. I got the expansion valve out. 
broke this clip. I looked looked online. I cannot get this clip. You can buy a expansion valve and clip as one unit, but I already have a new expansion valve in here. And the other thing is, I won't get it in time. I need to get this uh, van back on the road in a couple days, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to use that old clip. Maybe it'll hold it in. I don't know. I don't know where the piece broke that that's broken. I don't know where that went. But next step is getting the compressor out, which is all the way down there. Uh, today what we're doing is changing out the AC compressor. I think we have to take the alternator out. Also, I made sure I disconnected the battery. Um, I got to dig in here. My light broke. It won't turn on. So I don't know what I'm gonna do for light. But I'm gonna work through it. I gotta get this done. It's it's all torn apart, and this has to be done by in a couple days. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose the shop. No, this is my wife's van, the family van, and she needs it for work. So it needs to be done in a couple days. All right, let me. Uh, AC compressor is all the way down there in the dark. I think what I have to do is lift it up. And I'm, there's only like four bolts to hold it on. Some connectors and. I'm sure there's uh, the hoses are obviously the hoses are on there too, but uh, I gotta go. I'm gonna lift it up. I think I gotta get it from the bottom. If I can get it loose, I can see what else has come out. I, I read uh, read up, watched other people do it, and it um, they took the alternator out out too, which you have to get from the bottom also. So I gotta get on the I'm gonna lift it up in the air and get. All right. Well, here's the AC right there. There's one other thing I'm fixing on this thing is the leaking oil. That's uh, next on the list. Uh, I already have the AC apart, so I'm, that's what I'm tackling now. So there's no way that this compressor is fitting through here. So it's got to come out the top. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take whatever bolts I can while it's up in the air, undo them. There's one here, one over here, and then there's two more on the top. I want to get the lines off. There's a line there, and then somewhere a line on the other side. I don't know what this might be a plug on it somewhere. But while I have it up in the air, I'm going to get all these things loose, taken out maybe. Maybe just have the compressor just sitting there. And then uh, work on getting the alternator out. Got to get it out from the top. Pull the alternator out, and then pull the... AC compressor out the same way. I think that's what we got to do. Okay, I got all the bolts off of the AC compressor. There was one wire on top, which was it's on it's on the actual top, so I didn't even see it until the compressor was loose. Um, four bolts. There's a hose that was connected to it. Took all that out. The, con the compressor's down there, just sitting. Can't go anywhere. Trying to get the alternator off. I got the. There's a couple of. I'm disconnected this. Disconnected this from here. Disconnected this green one from here. This wire and harness. This wire and harness sits here. Right there. With a nut, a bolt holding it, a 10 millimeter bolt on that bracket. Uh, you have to disconnect the alternator. There's a 12 mil millimeter bolt that goes right here on the alternator, and then there's a plug on the back, which is this blue one that you have to get off. All right, and I'm just getting this, I'm just putting it out of the way. Now, I don't remember. To get the alternator off, there might be two or three bolts. There's a bolt right here. And there's one down. There's one down there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's one down there. And I gotta get rid of that one out too. I think that's it. Reach down there and take that bolt off. Take this one off. And hopefully I can get that alternator out. This hose is loose, so that should just get right out of my way. So that won't be a big deal. And hopefully I can get this, uh, get the alternator out and then get the AC compressor out. Okay, I got both things out. 
There's the alternator. This alternator was brand new, maybe, I don't know, I did a video on it five months ago. So much oil got on it. Hopefully it's, it's a pain in the neck to get this thing out. Hopefully it, uh, it's still good. Here's the compressor. This thing's oiled all up, gunked. So you can see the four uh, mounting bo uh, bolts, one, two, three, four up there. And the one hose was here, another hose there, and then your connector. The connector went right here. Can't see it, can you? Right there. That engages the clutch. Doesn't make any noise, but I don't know. There's there, you you saw in the earlier that there was a bunch of gunk in the um, in that filter. So uh, to pull it out, I had this disconnected. The power steering reservoir. I moved that out of the way. Bunch of the antifreeze, the overflow tank right here. That was in the way. It's just held on by a little pin, plastic push pin, and it sits right and it sits right around over here. Um, and this is the whole hose for it. That's why antifreeze got all over. Um, I pulled that out of the way. It made it a lot easier to get the alter. It was the alternator and the compressor. The alternator was hitting. The compressor was hitting. But this is the way to do it. It comes out right through here. I grabbed the pulley. Of the compressor and pulled it straight up so that's when I go to put it in I'm gonna put grab pull again and put it straight down uh, the other thing I'm uh, gonna do is I bought tensioners the tensioner pulley and I'm gonna replace those because I, I, I'm, I'm when it was running I noticed the pulley was moving a lot so was, the pulley was jumping around a lot, so I, I I bought it. This is all apart. I think it's like one or two bolts. I'm gonna replace it. Uh, and the next thing I got, I got, I'm gonna replace this pump also because this thing's leaking like a sieve. I'm gonna match the old compressor up, the new compressor, just to make sure that everything's there. It looks the same. I don't have to transfer anything over. There's the new one. It's a Denso. I don't know what brand this was. It's caked on right here. Oh, it's a Denso also. So that's good. Uh, do I have to transfer the wires over? Are you kidding me? Let's see. Alright, yep. Well... Yeah, so it looks like the, the plug is here. I gotta take all this stuff, this plug out of here, and transfer it over to here. That kind of stinks because I, I would I would like to have nice, clean, new wires and stuff, but I gotta take all this junk off now. It's all nasty. One zero SR seventeen six. So it's the same one. Okay, so I'm guessing it doesn't come with any oil. So. I'm going to have to look up and see how much oil is supposed to be in here and add it before I stick it down in there. But I got to take these off, that off. This is where the, the um, hoses go. And that should be it. And obviously, I got to take the wires off. I cleaned up and put the new connect the connectors on here. So now you can oh, there's plug this in here. So I put oil in here. I took these these caps off and, and put oil in there. Um, on I drained what what I could out of this new one because I don't know what's in here. There was some in here. I don't know how much was in there. I just drained it all out. And then I put what the requirement was in there. It's a little over four ounces for this 2014 Honda Odyssey. Put the four ounces in there. You have to turn it um, pump it a couple times otherwise it fills up pump it so I got the oil in there 
I put the covers back on because I don't want oil coming out when I'm moving around trying to get this thing back in. Uh, that's what I'm going to do now. And then I'll go, I'm going to get this in. Then I'm going to clean the lines out, connect everything up, and we're, we're almost there. The only other thing to do is the rear expansion valve. And I have to take some interior pieces off. So I, I, I'm doing all this. I might as well do that too. It's just it's just more work taking the interior pieces out. And there's a bunch of junk in the back of the van. So anyway, <clears throat> that's that. All right, here is the pulley. Idler pulley. Looks like there's one bolt right here. Goes all the way through. And you just pull that out. I'm sure it's not going to be easy. Right now, it's a good time to do this, this pulley, because I have the AC and the alternator out of the way. And I can get in there no problem. So the idler pulley is right here. Like I said, this car has 175,000 miles on it. A lot of this is I'm doing while I'm here. It, it, I think one of these one of these pulleys is making noise. So while I'm here, I'm just going to replace it. I mean, it should be fairly easy. All right, I got the pulley off. Um, I thought it was just <clears throat> I thought it was just this one bolt here. There's another one down here, a uh, a 12 millimeter. So you got to pull that guy off too. Um, I just want to compare the new and the old one. Yeah, it's still... That's interesting. Yeah, it's yeah, it's very similar. Um, the other weird thing. So the bolt. This has this big washer. This big uh washer on it. This one just got a little tiny one. Uh, the, the bolt is stuck on with this little, little plastic piece. I guess so it stays on there. Um, I'm going to have to take that out, obviously. <clears throat> That's the little one that was there. But this one was a little tricky to get to because you can't see it from the top. And you just got to feel around and then grab it. But fairly simple. Take this off. This is like a uh, 14, I think, and then a 12 comes off. It wasn't even that tight. All right, I'm gonna go put it back on, and we'll be done with the pulley. Well, I was going to use this washer on the new pulley, and then I just noticed this pulley is deeper than this one, so I can't use it. But I did put the old bolt on there, and. I put the little washer thing later. This, this is for my hands. How dirty it is. So let's go uh, put it in. Okay, let's go put this thing down there. Goes like this. Uh, putting it down in here. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to get this big bolt just in started. All right, I just got it started. Okay, I have the little bolt. So I got this on a little bit, it moves around. I'm gonna try to get the bottom one on. All right, so that tensioner's on there. All right, yep, so the bolt wasn't tight enough. So the bolt was moving. Now it's, now it's tensioning, holy cow. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and they spin, spins. So you can see these spin with no noise. Okay, here we go. Here goes the new compressor. It's going in. Here we go. So I still have I still have these connectors on here. So there's oil in here, and I put these on here to, so oil wouldn't come out and to protect. I don't want anything going inside there. All right, putting it down just like the way I took it out. You know what? I should have left that pulley out of there. Think about that. Hitting. Let's spin this. Um, 
along this way maybe. Uh. <laughs> really? That thing's hidden? That thing's in the way? There we go. I don't know what I'm going to get this down there. And I don't have to uh, go underneath and, and put it in. This is in the way. There. I don't want to just drop it. There we go. It's not gonna fall. It's the frames down there. It's not going anywhere. Um, I want to get this thing situated in the correct way, which is turned more. There goes like that. Okay. So that's in there. Alternator is uh, filthy, disgusting. I'm gonna clean up as much as I can, and I'll be right back. <clears throat> Alright, I'm just finishing up getting the <clears throat> alternator back in. Put the bottom bolt in first. I couldn't it wouldn't go all the way in to all the way to the other side. So I put the top one in, that aligned it, and the bottom one just went right in. Yeah. I'm gonna pull all this stuff back on the alternator, all the wire plug everything back in, the connectors and <clears throat> this here. This connector for the uh this is the connector for the AC compressor. I'm gonna do that on the lift carp in the air. But that's it for uh, doing an AC compressor. I mean, once I put those four more bolts in, it's, I don't know if you need to, need to see me do that. I mean, it's four bolts, two connectors, uh, hoses, and one connector. All right, so I have the alternator in. And I gotta do, hook all this stuff. I'm trying to decide if I wanna hook all this stuff up before messing with the AC stuff. So that's out of the way. And then blow the AC lines out. Blow the AC lines out. Change all the O-rings. The expansion valve back in. And, oh, I can put the condenser. The con condenser in right here. Connect all that stuff. I'm gonna get it all connected up. I'm gonna throw some uh, brake clean through these lines and then blow air through them. And they're not connected, so it's not going through the whole system. I'm not gonna touch. Uh, you know what, the evaporator's there. The evaporator's back in there. I could throw, I could blow some air through there. Just see if any gunk comes out. I'm, I'll, I'll do that too. Uh, so I'm gonna blow all that stuff out. Then I'll install the compressor. This way, this is all top work. And then I'll go under and do the bottom. I'll do the bottom work. And once all that is all done, I'm going to go into the back and change the back expansion valve. I'm going to take a bunch of panels off, interior panels, get to that thing, swap that out, new O-rings or whatever for that. And then um, I'll pull a vacuum on... The AC system. And I think while it's doing that, I will replace the power steering pump. Got the compressor up in there. Put the four bolts in. I put the mount of the compressor. I mean, I gotta tighten the bolts, but anyway. Um, I put the compressor on. Then, now, since I know where the plug is, I plugged in the plug, the connector after I got this in. So this is in, and then I went up here and put the connector. These um, things are not the hoses. One of these hoses came out. Uh, this end goes on the compressor, and this end goes up on top there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow this out real quick. I don't wanna connect anything before I blow it out, so I'm gonna clean that one out, blow it out, get it ready. Um, the other one that connects to the compressor is right here. I already cleaned it out. It's going to clean the, uh, that's 
want to clean it up a little bit more. I want to change that O-ring. Same on the bottom there. I'm going to, I'm going to change those O-rings there. When you change the O-rings, put a little oil on the O-ring so it goes on easier. And then these only fit in, in one spot. So this one goes up there. The other one goes here. <clears throat> like I said, there's still oil in there. I still have the other connectors. I got to take those off, these white things. <clears throat> but I'm going to bolt this on the compressor blow this out i'm gonna blow this out while i'm down here so i can connect it clean that blow it out so i can connect it and then lower the car and do the rest of them okay when you're putting these lines on you want to get that first one on the one i have on there now put that one on first and then put this one because if you put this one on first it goes straight up there it's gonna be in the way so you have a little right there is a little um, bracket that holds the that one line and in there so I put the bolt in the compressor and then I put the bracket on and now I'm putting this one on now I'm gonna clean it up there there's a little debris up there I'm gonna clean this off again and um, put some more oil around this o-ring and then get this other one up and then the pressure's in then I just have to do the rest of the lines and then eventually charge the system. Getting the new expansion valve in, I changed the O-rings on that evaporator side. I also put some oil on the O-rings and then inside the, the cavity here. And I took it and I just slid it in this way. And now I'm just pushing it on to those connectors back there. Oh yeah, I could feel it. All right, we're good. It's on. And then there's two Allen keys, the bolts that go right there. There's two Allen bolts. Like one goes in here. And the other one goes in here. Right, tighten them down. This will seal those O-rings. I'm trying to turn these, these bolts and they just keep spinning. They're not grabbing. So let me mess with it a little bit and I'll get them in. And once I get those two in, um, I need to, this goes on, get a bolt here, I need to change out these two O-rings here, and then put this whole thing on, and then button all the other stuff up. Okay, I was having trouble getting these Allen keys in. Allen keys go here, and they hold the expansion valve in. Well, this is probably why they tell you to take the hole underneath the dash part this piece here is loose now so this is loose and it got pushed all the way in and that has the threads in it so I just pulled it forward I'm gonna try again <laughs> put the expansion valve in not hit that piece I don't know how I'm gonna do that and then try to thread it in but that's why I couldn't get the that's why the the uh, screws weren't hitting. I don't know if there's something behind it that is not holding it anymore or what, but that's what's going on. So I'm gonna try again, get the expansion valve in. I can, now I, I, that I have it out again, I can show what, we, what I did. We're going like this. Going like this. In. I'm trying to push it nice and gentle. I want to push that bar back now. Put the Allen keys in. Hopefully, hopefully it will catch the threads on that thing, and I'll be able to. All right, I'm gonna do that. Keith from the future. I'm sitting here editing this video and I noticed a big gap right here. So that's what that's what this video is for. After I was having so much trouble getting the Allen bolts into the front expansion valve, that bracket in the back just kept moving. I, I there was nothing I could do to keep that back that bracket from moving. So 
I didn't film any of it because I was so frustrated. <laughs> I had to go into and I took down a lot of the panels underneath the dash, got it in from the other side, started the bolts, and then I was able to get the, that expansion valve in. It was a big pain in the neck. Um, so you pretty much do have to take some of the um, panels and everything underneath the dash out to get to complete that job. And then the other thing I skipped is I put all the lines together. I don't remember exactly what was going on, but I think I just wanted to get it done. I was so tired of messing with it and it was taking such a long time. I didn't film it or I don't know what happened, but you can see the in this the next scene, all the lines are on and I'm starting to put Fran on it. And there's gonna be another video of what happens after this because this didn't fix the problem. Still had a problem after this. But that's, hopefully I filled in that gap right there because that, that was a lot of miss. I was watching it, I'm like, this doesn't make sense. So I thought I would just jump in here and explain it real quick. All right, let's get back to the video, thanks. Okay, all the stuff's done. Put back together, all the lines are back on, tightened. I put the, this front plastic piece back on. I vacuumed down the AC system down to minus <clears throat> minus 30 30 um, degrees of vacuum I turned I turned it off disconnect you can see what I got disconnected still the blue lines hooked up the low pressure is hooked up into here and it's still holding vacuum we're at like an hour and it's still holding vacuum so I'm pretty confident that this is system sealed and it's not gonna leak I mean I know it's vacuum once it gets pressure it's different but anyway so now so now I just have to put the refrigerant back in. Okay, we're all done. Uh, I'm a little concerned. It's about 80 degrees right now. Um, this should be about about 40 on the low side and a 200 on the high side. I don't know why we're at like, I don't know what, 240 on the high side. And there's no air blowing over the front of it. That, that could be something, I don't know. I'm not gonna mess with it. Because the air coming out is, I don't know if you can read it, uh, 50 degrees maybe. So it's about 50. And that's with the rear running. I turned the rear off. Because what happened was before, I would turn the rear off and it would get hot and real hot in here. I mean, it would stop blowing cold totally. Um, I turn the rear off and it starts going down. So we're down to a... For now, maybe not. It's about... No, it's going down a little bit. Or it might be the same. I don't know. I, I... The car's been running for like 30 minutes sitting here. Um, it's, it's not getting hot. That was another problem. The temperature was spiking hot. So that's not ha happening anymore. So... Only I have to do is put the engine cover on. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna turn it off. Check fluids. Make sure everything's okay. Disconnect all this. Um, drive around. See how it is for a while. Oh look, the the, the uh, high side came down. Uh, that's still about 30. I, I, I'm tempted to put a little bit more in. I put two cans, which each can was 12 ounces. 24 ounces, that's what it says it's supposed to use. 24 to 25 ounces. Uh, I don't. I think I'm done. Alrighty. Well, thanks a lot for watching. This is probably a very long video if it's uh, everything that I did to it. Um, I did AC, power steering, the fans. Uh, what else? I, all new lines. The AC compressor. I had to take the alternator out. So there's a lot of stuff that I, I, I had to do to just fix this air conditioning. And while I was there, oh, new uh, tension pulley. Oh, the tension pulley, I forgot there was, there was a little washer um, on the other side against the block. And I forgot to put that, I forgot I put that in there. And when I started it up the first time, the belt skipped over like it was coming off the, the pulley. So I had to pull the tensioner off and redo it. Anyway, 
it's working good. You can see it's working well now. The, the, the belt is staying on there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you stuck, stuck through the, to the end of the video to see if I actually did complete this job, which obviously I did. We're going we're gonna to take a test drive probably tomorrow and, you know, see, make sure that everything's okay. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Um, please like, share, and subscribe these. I appreciate it. Talk to you later. Bye.